Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Inside Guns with me, your host, the Yankee Marshall. Now, first thing I want to do is say happy turkey day to everybody out there. It is Thanksgiving, or actually it's not really Thanksgiving, it's the day before, but my computer sucks. It is slow, so I got to film this stuff early. But happy Thanksgiving, happy turkey day, gobble gobble, uh, all that crap. Uh, now, I know a lot of people uh, this year are a little upset about Thanksgiving. A lot of people can't get together with family. Some people don't have family to get together with ever. But, you know, to me, I'm kind of like, I'm just so heartbroken about not being able to host 15 to 17 people tomorrow like I always do. Uh, it breaks my heart that I'm not in there right now scouring the house and uh, preparing multiple meals and trying to get stuff ready for tomorrow so that I can somehow miraculously get all the stuff done at the right time for people to eat and not bitch and complain and not, and, uh, not testing my nerves right now trying to steady myself so that I don't punch somebody in the face in my family tomorrow. It uh, just breaks my heart that I'm not doing that. But I still recognize that, especially this time of year, and so especially during this COVID situation we find ourselves in, you know, with the, the Rona going around, that there's a lot of people very unhappy this time of year uh, for one reason or another. And today I want to take a little time to talk about that. Uh, as a professional mental health person, or at least I used to be, now I'm not a professional anything, except for maybe paying the ass to some people. But I want to talk about the holidays this year, how we're coping, uh, and some things you should do if you do feel a little down. Uh, first off, I want to say one of the best things for people if you're a little sad, remember, you're not alone this year. A lot of people are going through the same thing you're going through. Uh, it's not unique. You're not uh, the only person in the world right now that doesn't have somebody or doesn't get to see family or whatever. This year, think of it as you're doing something patriotic. You're trying to stop the spread of a disease and you're doing something good for people. But like I said, you're not the only one. Keep that in mind. Don't ever lose track of that. And you're not alone. Remember, there's a lot of us out here. Uh, one of the best ways you can deal with some of the doldrums this year, uh, we are lucky. We live in a world where no one needs to be isolated. We have the internet. And as long as you're seeing this, I assume you have the internet. Find a group of people online that you have conversations with. I know a lot of gun channels these days, you know, pretty much focus on live chats. I know I do one every night on top of doing my regular channel. Go in there. Find people you enjoy chatting with. They aren't just a, you know, watch and learn type of situation. They're an interaction. People talk to each other. You type, you know, you make a question, you answer a question, you laugh, you have a fun time. You're around people that you know aren't going to judge you and probably agree with you on a lot of things. And the things they don't agree with you on, you know, hey, these guys will actually tell me they don't agree. <laughs> and then we can still move on to something else we do agree on because people don't take things seriously or personally. So that's one thing I like to tell people. Don't be alone. Get on that computer. Make use of this modern technology we have. We didn't have this back in the day. Uh, I would have loved to add something like this when I was younger. Hell, I probably would never left the house. I'd have just react, interacted with people online. Uh, and not, let's not mention the porn thing would have kept me in home a lot too. But this is a great social tool. Use it. Don't suffer in silence during the holidays. Don't be depressed. Get online. Talk to people, especially people that are like-minded. I'm not talking go and look for people who uh, support your prejudices. I'm just saying go talk to people. Have a good time. Uh, learn from each other. Ex you know, Experience each other. It's an awesome thing to do, and we're so lucky to have this technology. So please do it. For those of you that need a more personal touch during the holidays, even if you're by yourself, even if there's no one uh, there with you and there wouldn't be even if we didn't have COVID, Go out and be an important factor in somebody else's life. Volunteer at a food bank. Volunteer for Meals on Wheels. Volunteer at a, 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 an old folks home or a rec center or a youth center. Do something. Show people that I have value because nothing makes a person feel better than feeling valuable. And I can tell you, nothing makes you feel more valuable than meaning something to someone else or doing something you think is important. So go out, be involved in your community. You don't have to be a family or a couple or anything to be involved in your community. In fact, 
a lot of organizations rely on single people because they have more time and they're more willing to get involved. So you could be a very important uh, cog of some organization out there right now uh, and you're missing and they're missing you because they know they need you. You just don't know it yet. So go out, be involved. Don't stew at home. Don't let your anger or your sadness or your fear control your life. Be an active member of your community. I know a lot of people, especially in the gun community, want to spend a lot of their time afraid and feeling like they're being attacked or their rights are being taken away. But that's awesome as far as trying to stay ready for the fight when we need to fight. But remember that you still have to live your life in between those moments. So go out, be involved in your community. Your community is never going to be better for you unless you're involved in it. Do that. Another thing you can do is get a pet. If you don't have a pet, pets are awesome for mental health. Uh, I don't think you can stress enough the importance of a pet for mental health. Something that loves you unconditionally. Something that relies on you. Something you have to take care of. If you're mentally sound, go get a pet. It can be one of the best parts of your life. I have multiple. I got five pets in my house, not counting my children. And they're a big part of my life. Uh, and I wouldn't be nearly as happy without them. So that's another bit of advice I give people to deal with their loneliness, and especially this time of year. But like I say, the big things are get involved with your community, make friends, talk to people, interact on the internet. It's closest, it's the best thing we have to personal interaction right now. And also, let's not forget retail therapy. If you're someone who's got disposable income, <laughs> retail therapy is awesome. Buy something, buy a gun, buy gun grips, buy a gun part. Go out and buy a pistol brace. We've been talking a lot about pistol braces lately. Go buy some. Uh, retail therapy is awesome. I like online retail therapy, especially because I get the fun of looking for it. And then I get to order it and I get to have that anticipation for it to come. Now, my anticipation has limits. I like two-day shipping <laughs> because I don't want to wait forever. But sometimes I think that online shopping is even more fun than shopping in person, which isn't an option to a lot of people right now. But if you've got a local gun shop that is open or something, go browse. Even if you don't buy something, it's fun. You'll talk to people in there. Maybe you'll pick up a little box of something, a site or something little. Just it makes you feel better. It releases endorphins. Just like I say, getting in the live chats, laughing, watching your favorite movies. All these things can release endorphins, make you feel better. Just don't brood. Don't get upset. Don't feel like you're alone because no one's alone in this world anymore. Thanks to the Internet, we've all got each other. So get out there, have a good turkey day. Uh, even if it's just sitting in front of the TV, watching your favorite show, and then coming on a live chat later. And, you know, shooting the shit with the boys or the gals sometimes in my chats. Uh, it'll make your day a little brighter. That's mainly what I wanted to say today. I hope everyone out there has a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, from my family to yours or to just you, do the things you need to do to make you happy. Because we only got one life. And being happy is very important. So don't wallow in misery. Don't live in fear. Enjoy your life. Live your life. Enjoy the moments between the, the, the times we have to be at arms. Because 99% of the time we don't have to be. So enjoy it. Live your life. Uh, that being said, uh, there's one more thing I want to do today before I go. I've had people asking me, uh, what kind of setup do I have here now that I'm doing this? But I'm, they're doing my videos differently. Well, it's simple. I'm not in a new spot, not using a new camera. This is the same work table that you always see me use when you see me do a tabletop. It's just an old adjustable height table I got from uh, Home Depot. And this here is just a green screen. And if I pull it down and let it go, you'll see... My regular backdrop back here. This is where you usually see me. Uh, so not really doing anything different. It's just, uh, well, not doing anything special. Just things a little different, I should say. Uh, but like I said, that's all I wanted to say today. So I hope you have a good holidays. And I hope you make it through feeling awesome. And I hope you enjoyed your holiday. And I hope you join us in the live chats. Like I said, it's a good time for everybody. Uh, and until next time, I'll see you later.